Welcome back, guys. How many days a week should I be training in the martial arts? This is a question that's asked quite a bit, but seldom ever addressed on the mats or in the dojo. So let's answer. All right, how many days a week should I be training martial arts? I've got some notes jotted down here, so we're all ready to go. Now, there are three main categories of martial artists that we want to talk about, we want to touch on. It's going to be a little bit different for each category. Keep in mind, these are guidelines and suggestions, not hard and fast rules. Now, the first category of martial artists that we're going to touch on is the more experienced guy or girl. Somebody who's been doing it a while, but simply wants to maintain their skill set and stay sharp just in case they get into any altercations, either on the street or whatever like that. So this type of individual, you could get away with training twice a week. If that's going to be the bare minimum that I would recommend that you train to maintain your skill set. Now, if you're like me and you've been doing martial arts for a long time, I've been doing it for 18 years, I've got nagging injuries, and I'm getting a little bit older in life. So I get, you know, I get sore and I need just a little bit more recovery time at this point in my career than I once did when I was in my mid-20s. So I would say two days a week is good if you're only looking to maintain your skill set. But if you're looking to actively progress in any said martial art, or you're just beginning the martial arts and you're trying to get better, three days a week is going to be the bare minimum that I would recommend. Could you push that to four? Absolutely. Could you do five? Sure. Whatever your pleasure is. But the minimum that you want to do is three days a week to get better. Uh, it's a, actually a very good cycle because you can do, for example, Monday, rest Tuesday, Wednesday, rest Thursday, Friday, rest Saturday, Sunday. That's a lot of recovery time. So especially if you are doing other supplemental stuff in between, weightlifting, extra cardio, whatever it is, this will give you a lot of extra recovery time that your body, frankly, will need. Now, let's say that you're actively training for a fight or a competition or combat. How many days a week should you be training? I would say a minimum of four days a week. Now, you got to really look at this because if you are in a fight camp, if you are actively training for a fight, there's going to be a set period of time where you've got to really put your nose to the grindstone. You've really got to go all in and you know go to boot camp, so to speak, or a fight camp. So if you're actively training for, like, let's say, a Muay Thai fight or an MMA fight, you got to think, right? You're going to be doing drilling and sparring, and you're also going to probably be doing supplemental cardio and maybe even some weights as well. You're also more than likely going to be on some type of diet, which, you know, unless you're trying to put on weight, would indicate some type of calorie deficit because most guys who fight are probably going to try to cut weight for the fight as well. That's a lot of taxation that you're putting on your body. So four days a week at a minimum, probably more like five. But if you're also doing you know, supplemental cardio, weight training, diet, that's a lot. So don't try to do this for more than a set period of time, whether that's eight weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it is. But set a period of time where you're going to train all out and train hard. And then after the fight, back off. And I'm not saying to stop training, right? Usually they recommend that you like take at least a couple of days off. When in my old gym, after you fought, after you did a competition or a fight, you weren't allowed back in the gym for at least a couple of days. They want to make sure that you give yourself that time of recovery so that you don't get injured. And that was a good policy that they had. Other gyms don't have that, but my gym did. It was a hardcore MMA gym, but they still wanted you to rest for a couple of days, I think it was, I think it was like one or two sessions you had to miss out on after your fight. Um, but then you can go back to training, but three days a week, four if you're a beast, whatever. So we talked about other activities that you might be doing as well. And if you are like for me, I'm really into the weights right now. So I love the schedule of Monday you fight, Tuesday you lift, Wednesday you fight, Thursday you lift. Friday, you fight again, spar that is, and then either Saturday or Sunday, you lift. All right. That's a good schedule for me. Again, plenty of recovery time, and I'm not pushing my body to its limits when I don't have to. But again, if I was training for some kind of competition or a fight, I would bump that up 
and definitely, definitely um, train a little bit more because the more the better. And they say it takes what ten thousand hours to master anything. Okay, sure, maybe, but it takes even more to like be on a really, really solid level, especially with something complex like jujitsu. You really need it's all about hours on the mat because you're going to be learning mistakes that you make and. You're going to have to repeat those mistakes a bunch of times before you finally learn your lesson. It, it takes a lot of time on the mat. Now, we talked about diet. If you are cutting weight, let's just say, whether for a fight or not, but if you're cutting weight, realize that that is going to take a toll on your training. That's going to take a toll on your ability to think through things and as well as perform an energy output. So just give yourself that kind of like, okay, maybe sometimes – Let's just say I have, I want to lose 10 pounds and I have made up my mind. I'm going to do this. I don't care what it takes. All right. But if that's your focus, then maybe you bump down your training to twice a week um, and then do supplemental cardio on the side, you know, fast cardio or whatever that is, or you do three days a week, but don't expect to be able to do four or five days a week forever. If you're also, you know, on a strict calorie deficit, some guys could do it. Will it work faster? Will you lose that weight faster? Yeah, absolutely. But is it healthier? I don't, I don't know about that. And then, you know, we talked about rest. If you're, if you need more rest, take it. If you're an older guy, again, who's been doing martial arts for a long time, or even if you're an older guy who's starting to learn martial arts, don't make yourself crazy trying to keep up with all the youngsters. They might go four or five days a week, but if you need to go three days a week, then you freaking do it, man. And don't worry about it. It will come. And then we just talked about age. If you're younger, you need less rest time. If you're a little older, you need just a little bit more. And if you're fucking old, then you need a lot of fucking recovery time. So don't, again, don't drive yourself crazy. Give yourself what you need. And if you are like in your 60s and doing combat sports, I salute you. That's pretty freaking cool. I hope this video will help. Guys, don't forget that you can subscribe to our channel and support us. It really, really helps us out. Three bucks a month, less, less than a cup of coffee. It really is. You can't even get a cup of good coffee for like three bucks. So less than one cup of coffee a freaking a month. And you're supporting our channel and you're really helping us out. We also do a lot of fun giveaways on here too. So we're giving away a tactical bag right now. We're also giving away a crazy awesome gun belt. We do this all the time just for our members. So if you want to get in on that, consider clicking the blue button below and joining the channel. We got a couple of different levels of membership, but all of those levels get to get in on the giveaways. Also, gutterfightingsecrets.com is the website. Learn martial arts online. You want to learn practical, simple, easy World War II-based combatives that work on the street and also on the mat. Well, gutterfightingsecrets.com is your place. Go to the GFS shop and swag tab click down hand to hand combat training boom online training you can get better from the comfort of your own home and it really does it's stuff that works it's fair burn based all right i hope this helped some of you in some respect if you added value to you don't forget to like subscribe comment down below because it helps us in the algos and it's much appreciated until next time please remember that you are your first and last line of defense and i'll see you in the next video Cheers.